Welcome to another presentation in the APH Braille Blaster video series. My name is William Freeman, and I'm a software quality assurance analyst and certified Braille transcriber at APH. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to add special symbols using the T-Page Generator tools in Braille Blaster. The T-Page Generator tools allow you to add necessary information to transcriber pages, or T-Pages, and copy it to subsequent volumes. It also inserts the T-Pages at the beginning of each volume by using the divisions you create. All right, we already have Braille Blaster open, and we've opened a book to use for the demonstration. To begin, you'll open the T-Page Generator by going to Tools, and then to the T-Page Generator, which is right here. Open it, and you're gonna see the tabs at the top, and those are in the order they appear in the book or document. Uh, they are Title Page 1, Title Page 2, Special Symbols, and Transcriber Notes. In general, we recommend that you create the special symbols last. The reason is that you have this button, Copy Current Volume, and you're gonna to wanna to copy your title pages and your transcriber notes to subsequent volumes and then just edit them to make them appropriate. Whereas your special symbols are gonna be wholly unique, and so you're not gonna to wanna to copy those to each volume. So to get started, uh, let's click on the Special Symbols tab. First, you, you may be wondering uh, what we mean by special symbols. Special symbols are characters or marks that convey a specific meaning on their own or phonetic meaning or stress to a word or character. And they don't, they don't necessarily appear very often in Braille, so it's good to remind your reader uh, what they are. Some examples include asterisk, tilde, accent marks, grave and acute, ampersand, hashtag, caret, and so on. These can all be found in uh, formats 2016. So before you add some symbols, the first step is to insert the dot locator for mention uh, before each symbol and make sure it appears on your special symbols page. If you are transcribing in UEB, you are required to add this symbol anyway uh, to, the, to your special symbols page. Braille Blaster offers a quick and easy way to do this. First, you will want to click on the Insert Prefix button, which is right here in your uh, set of buttons. The default prefix is the ASCII characters period uh, equal sign, and these translate into Braille into dots four, six, and then a full cell, but we use ASCII Braille to illustrate it. And you can change the symbol, just edit it yourself at any time. It is an active text box or you can leave it as it is and include it in the list. Once you click this button here to include it in the list, you can also edit the name. The default name is dot locator for mention. Uh, and any changes you make, you can set them to be permanent by clicking make default, or you can click okay. Uh, we're just gonna leave it as it is and click okay. So now our symbol appears where we would expect it to appear. Next, you will populate the special symbols list, which is done nearly automatically. First, we will click autofill. And once you, one, the first thing you're gonna notice is you can either do all volumes or just volume one. We're gonna do all volumes. This is a one volume document, so it doesn't matter much either way, but we're just gonna do the one volume. And automatically, this list is generated. And this screen here shows you where each symbol was found so that you can be sure that that's what, you, what we think it is is what you think it is. So now we'll click continue. There's all of your symbols again with ASCII Braille on the left and the description on the right. We click finish. There's all of our symbols. The dot locator for mention is appearing before each symbol. And now we can uh, edit add, delete, move, or rearrange uh, any of these symbols in this list. I will point out though, before you uh, rearrange anything, that it is already arranged by dot complexity according to the rules of UEB and Braille formats 2016. So if you wanna add a symbol, you would click the add button, uh, which then opens the add new special symbol dialog box You'll have uh, three fields to complete, type, 
ASCII symbol and description. So first you choose either symbol or heading from the type drop-down menu. Uh, the heading will allow you to add a heading to your special symbols list while symbol will add just a symbol. We're gonna add a symbol. So then you would put in uh, an ASCII, uh, ASCII print letters of the, uh, of the Braille. We're gonna make a transcriber defined symbol. So I will do at sign, dollar sign, SF. And so this will be a smiley face. The at symbol makes a dot four, the dollar sign makes the ED contraction, and then SF for smiley face. And now I will write smiley face as the description. Alternatively, I could have picked it from the list of symbols that already exist. So you click pick from list, and here's all of the available symbols. It is quite a list. We even have a uh, Naria. I'm not sure what that is. So now I will add my smiley face, and it gets added automatically to the bottom, but I can click rearrange. You get a little warning. The table will be arranged by cell complexity according to Braille Formats 2016. Continue. I will say yes. And now my smiley face has jumped to the top where it should be between ampersand and transcriber's note opening. So if you want to edit a symbol um, for whatever reason, you just select the symbol and you click edit. It opens up the same box that you had before to add a symbol, but now you have the option to uh, change what it means. You can also change the placement automatically uh, on your own, so manually. So if I, for whatever reason, think bold word, bold face word should be up here, I can click move up and it moves up the list, or I can click down and it moves down the list. I'm gonna take it back to the proper format though. You can also remove a symbol if you feel a symbol was added inappropriately or the algorithm that detected the symbol didn't detect it properly. You would just highlight it, click delete, and the symbol is deleted. You can also edit the autofill options um, if Braille Blaster maybe didn't find your symbol or if uh, new symbols are added or if you just have used a symbol in a weird way, you click autofill options. It brings up a list of all the special symbols with their ASCII Braille, their description, and then rules. And these are the rules that Braille Blaster uses to find the symbol. So I'm gonna go to double prime, which is seven seven, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit that symbol. And that brings up the, it's, it looks a lot like the list of how you add a symbol. But we've got seven, seven is the symbol, description, double prime, and then the rules are not followed by seven, always, not preceded by seven, always. And we could edit these rules. Uh, we're gonna leave them as they, as they are though, because what these rules are doing is they're making sure this isn't a box line. A top box line is a row of sevens. So if you didn't have these rules, it would think a top box line was a double prime. So we're gonna leave that, leave that alone, but I'll go ahead and show you, if you add a symbol, you can add rules to it. And so these are the rules, a whole word, not whole word, beginning of word, and so on. And this is really for advanced users. Most users are gonna be fine with the special symbols as they are. When all the T-Page information has been added, uh, click OK at the bottom of the screen and Braille Blaster uh, automatically processes and inserts the new T-Pages at the top of the volume, which may take a moment, uh, but it's still faster than doing it manually. Especially if you have multiple volumes, Braille Blaster is gonna insert each in front of uh, its appropriate volume. And you can even add, I've only filled out the special symbols tab. I have not filled out the title page or transcriber note tab. But when I click OK, it will go ahead and insert what I have. And that's how you add special symbols using the T-Page generator tools. Be sure to check out our other presentations in the APH Braille Blaster video series. Additional Braille Blaster documentation can be found at braillebluster.org. Braille formats, principles of print to Braille transcription 2016 can be found at braillethority.org. And the UEB rulebook can be found at iceb.org. Thank you.